Hi guys, welcome to The Ribe. So in today's video, we're going to answer an engineering mathematics topic, which is plane geometry. So let us proceed. So the question is, what is the ratio of the ball of the spear second segment to the first segment? So we have a spear of radius uh, small r here that is uh, divided by the cutting plane. See the dotted, uh, see the dotted lines? No? Or the broken lines that divide the spear into two segments with common radius r and two different values of altitude, which is represented by a small h. So let uh, us read the real problem here with the specific details. A sphere having a diameter of 30 cm is cut into two segments. The altitude of the first segment is uh, 8 centimeter. What is the ratio of the volume of the second segment to that of the first? So let us define first muna what is a spherical segment. A spherical segment is a solid bounded by two parallel planes through a sphere. So dalawang uri ng spherical segment. So that was the spherical segment with one base and the spherical segment with two bases. So ang magiging sample lang natin ngayon is spherical segment with one base or ang tinatawag na spherical cup kasi para siyang sombrero. So, lagay natin, spherical cap. Okay, so considering, again, we have a sphere here of radius small r. So, meron tayong cutting plane that will divide the wool sphere into two segments. So, this is uh, the first segment so, ito siya. so, this is the first segment and this is the second segment. Okay. So, since the question is looking for what is the ratio of the volume of the two segments, let us uh, see muna ano ba ang formula ng volume of the segment. So, the volume of the segment is pi h squared over 3 times 3r minus h. So, ang hinahanap na lang natin is so, ang hinahanap ng question is, what is the ratio? So, ang, mag ang mangyayari, the ratio of the volume of the second segment to that of the first ay magiging ganito. So, volume 2 represents the volume of the second segment and B1 represents the volume of the first segment. So, lagay na lang natin dito. Okay? And of course, the formula is pi h squared over 3 times 3r minus h. So, ano muna ba yung h na to and ano muna ba yung r na to? So, the trick here, guys, is that the radius of the sphere is constant to both the radius of the two segments. Meaning, kung ang radius ng sphere mo ay uh, sabi na nating 10 cm, kung ang, ang per segment na nahate, magkakaroon din siya ng radius na 10 cm and of course, yung second segment na nahate ay may radius din na 10 cm. And in these cases, may given tayo guys kanina na diameter of 30 cm. Ibig sabihin, kung ang diameter natin ay 30 cm, just divide it by 2. So, 30 over 2 ang ating radius is 15 cm. So, in this ratio, we're not going to have a problem on finding the radius. Kasi nga, common siya to both segments. So, kung may 15 ka dito, may 15 ka rin dito. So, this is 15 and this is 15. So, ang magiging problem na lang natin is itong small h nito. So, ano ba yung small h na to? So, look at the problem again. Ang sabi, the altitude of the first segment is 8 cm. So, ano ba? Nasa ba yung first segment? So, ito yung first segment. So, ang altitude na yan ay ito. Ito yung parang nagiging height nung segment. From the word itself, altitude is the same as the height. So, that is your... Height. So, pangalan natin siyang H1, H sub 1, kasi nga it represents the height or altitude, altitude of the first segment. So, our altitude of the first segment is 8 cm. Ibig sabihin, ang H1 natin ay 8 cm. And this is 8 cm. So, ano na lang kulang natin sa formula na to? So, ang kulang na lang natin, of course, is yung age sub 2. So, ano yung age sub 2? So, ibig sabihin, kung ito yung altitude, 
ng per segment meaning eto naman yung altitude ng second segment and how and what is the amount of this altitude okay so ang maging mangyari eto yung h2 so ilan kaya yung h2 okay so since kitang kita naman obviously alam natin na ang radius is 15 and the diameter is 30 ibig sabihin wala dito and mula doon sa dulo sa dulo we have a diameter of 30 cm so in order per get in order for get the value of the h2 we need to subtract the value of h1 to the value of 30 meaning it will become 30 minus 8 so the h2 is 22 cm so, ibig sabihin ng H2 natin ay solve na dito. Merong 22 and merong 22. Salpak sa calculator. Direct substitution na kasi nakuha na ang lahat. We're going to get the ratio of the volume. But in order for us to save space in the calculator, we may uh, factor out this constant, the pi over 3, kasi cancelled na yan mamaya. And hindi natin pwedeng i-factor out yung radius, guys, ha? kasi nakamultiply yan sa 3 at i-minusan pa ng height na magkaiba pa ang value. So, hindi siya pwedeng i-factor out. So, ang mangyayari, ang ratio ng dalawang segment is B2 over B1 is equal to H2 squared. So, that was 22 squared times 3R. So, sabihin na natin 3 times the radius is 15. Ayan. Okay, so H2 is 22. Okay. So, ang V1 naman is H1 squared. So, ang ating H1 is 8 centimeters. So, that, is, that will become 8 squared. So, pangit ng sulat natin. Ganyan talaga pag uh, alas 10 ng gabi. Kapag alas 9, maganda sulat natin. <laughs> Dahil joke lang. So, ito yung sabi ko na bawal i-factor out. So that was 3R again. So 3 times 15. So bawal yung i-cross out. Kasi nga hindi naman siya multiplied direct. Kundi siya ay multiplied. Pero may kadikit na other operations. So kung wala sana, di ba? Kagaya ng pi over 3. So 3 times 15 minus H1. So what is your H1? That will be 8. Okay. So in short, B2 over B1 is equal to 22 squared over 8 squared times 45 minus 22 and 45 minus 8. So the answer is, so get your calculator guys, 22 squared times 45 minus 22, so that was 23. 8 squared times 45 minus 8, so that was 8 squared times 37. So the answer is... 4.701. So the ratio of the two segments is 4.701. Ayun. So tingnan natin kung may sagot na 4.701. So the answer to this past board exam problem is B, 4.7. So ayun lang guys. That's enough for today. And I hope may nadagdag sa ating kaalaman. So, please visit our Facebook page. Yung link ay nasa description. And please subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. No? Engineering mathematics no? and other engineering subjects. Of course, visit, uh, pakitignan din yung ibang videos na na-upload natin lately. And ayun lang guys, maraming salamat uli. Again, this is Engineer HB. Thank you and God bless. See you soon again and bye-bye.